You're watching Vancouver TV, where we show you what's happening in your city. We've got the latest movie reviews and access to your favorite celebs. From fashion to red carpets, live shows, and more, we cover it all, keeping you informed about your city and in the know about upcoming events. In another world, our galaxy is in a state of crisis. Captain Quark? The Galactic Rangers are looking for a new recruit. A man with a dream. Actually, I'm a Lombax. Fine, a Lombax with a dream. We want you! Yeah! If you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. Wait, God. Next! We'll discover a beautiful friendship. Ah! Maybe not beautiful, but definitely attractive. Like a seven. My name's Ratchet. I'll just call you Clank. Now, on the dark side of the universe. In two days' time, the Galactic Rangers will be destroyed. Stanley, are you texting? Mommy. Dialing mother. <laughs> Hello? An unstoppable evil. My brilliant creation! <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Burn. We'll give them the chance. An attack is coming. I must warn the Rangers. I can totally help. To be heroes. Yeah! No. No legends. Wait. Even better. Ugh, does anyone else feel like we should have shot something by now? Thank you. This April. Destroy them all. When a galactic force threatens the world. I'm going in. Test your gear. <laughs> Courage. Meet the sheepinator. Uh oh. And kick. Boom, baby! Some asteroid. Raja and Clay. It is curious that the sudden cessation of velocity did not cause either of you to. Oh dear. Don't worry, cadet. It happens to the best of Oh, that was terrible. Make it stop! Hey, VTV viewers, it's Maria here, and we're at the 2016 Vancouver International Auto Show. I think this is where every car lover's dreams come true. So let's go check out the most exclusive, hottest cars. We're here with the executive director of the Vancouver International Auto Show, Mr. Jason Hurd. How are you doing today? Uh, fantastic. The crowds are in. It's, uh, it's a great show. Uh, everyone's leaving with a smile on their face, so that makes me smile. <laughs> Awesome. So can you tell us an overview about this year's auto show? Sure. This year's show is uh, bigger than we've ever had before. Uh, opening night set record attendance. Uh, we, we have a great content. Uh, we've really worked hard. Once we learned our expansion from last year of the 70,000 square feet, we really learned how to use that space to our advantage. And it's showing this year and the manufacturers and the dealers and everyone have really stepped up and are making this a, a great experience for everyone in attendance. Now, it's no coincidence we're standing in front of this car. Could you tell us about this Lexus? This is my favorite car in the show, and I begged to get it from after I saw it at an introduction in LA. And it's called the LFC2. It's a concept car, but I'm a convertible guy myself. And uh, this thing to me, with the, everything about it, it's aggressive styling, it's, it's mean, it's, it's, it's one of a kind car. You're never. Color. The color is sensational. You're never going to see this another one of these cars. This is the one and only. So to me, this is this embodies what the auto show is all about. It's all about uh, entertainment, uh, enjoyment, and, and finding that personal thing that you love about the show. So Jason, tell us about these four beauties behind us. Okay, so this is part of the owner's collection from Ferrari Maserati of Vancouver, and he brought them up from Montana just to share with us. They believe it's the first time in North America in at least 10 years, at least a decade, that these four supercars have been on display in one location at one auto show. 
Wow. So this is this is a very special thing. What we have is we have a 288 GTB, we have an F40, an F50, and an Enzo. And to have these lined up side by side, nose to nose, like it, it, this is this is pretty special. And these are very very special cars. Awesome. And I know I think it's an understatement when I say that you're crazy about cars. Um, which cars are you most excited to get your hands behind the wheel of in this year's auto show? You know what? I'm I'm shopping myself this year, so I can't wait to get down to the floor after things calm down a bit. I'm looking for a new sedan. I'm currently driving uh, a new A7, which I'm in love with. But hey, I, I am also have some brands that I, I like, and so I'm, I'm shopping, uh, just like everyone else is. Um, you know, the dream cars, of course, are are the 918s of the world, the, the LaFerraris and all that kind of stuff, which which you get to see and experience here. But reality is 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 on the show floor, and, and that's what I'm doing as well. So just like everyone else, we're looking at what what's next. And I want technology in my car. I want to understand that it's going to work for my family and myself. And uh, so this is the place to do it. And this is this is why we put the show on. So Jason, you're a huge car collector. Would this be one that you would want to keep in your uh, garage? This one's a tribute to the Bond cars. Uh, you know what, this one's spectacular. It is just a tribute car. But uh, you know what, at the end of the day, it's it's all about the celebration and, and the love of the automobile. And this, this reflects it. It's got the working gadgets. It's got the machine guns. It's got the screen in the back, the license plate flips. It's, it, it, it's fun. This is just a fun, fun piece. Yeah, no, for sure. It looks really, really cool. Um, have you driven it before? No. 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 Wouldn't dare. No. I don't get to drive a lot of these cars. I just get to drool on them like everyone else. So that's kind of the, the experience in the world we live in. But, you know, to, to each their own. And uh, and again, you know, I'm, I'm looking for my sedan. I'm looking forward to jumping in and trying some and uh, feeling how they are. And, and that's what we're, we're all about at the Vancouver Auto Show. Sweet. And why should everyone come out to the 2016 Vancouver International Auto Show this year? Because it's totally awesome. Uh, we have a fantastic show. Uh, we have people leaving that are telling their friends and friends are coming and uh, I tell you it's it's an experience that you, you, you don't replicate. It's once a year and this is the best year we've ever had and uh, I challenge anyone to leave and not say they didn't have a great time. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate it. BMW is of course also part of the Vancouver International Auto Show. Thank you so much to BMW store at 5th and Burrard for sponsoring us here at Vancouver Television. Make sure to check them out. I'm sitting in a blue, very cute mini convertible. Thank you so much to Mini Yale Town for supporting us at Vancouver Television. Make sure to check them out in Yale Town. We're here with Alistar from Mazda at the Vancouver International Auto Show. Can you tell us a little bit about the star of the Mazda show? Uh, we really have two stars here at Mazda. We have uh, the MX-5 here, which is the uh, car of the year, just voted at the New York Auto Show. Wow. And we have the CX-3, which is Canadian Utility Vehicle of the Year, as voted by AJAC. Yeah, so two stars of the Mazda show. <laughs> so what makes a Mazda the perfect car for any person living in Vancouver? Uh, it's a great blend of engineering integrity, fuel efficiency, sporty driving uh, ability, uh, great all-round utility. Awesome, thank you so much. Great pleasure. And also thank you once again to Signature Mazda for sponsoring Vancouver Television. I'm standing in front of a Rolls-Royce Go Series 2 in a dark indigo color. As you can see, it's a super luxurious car with a red leather interior. It is half a million dollars, so you do have to save up for this car. It is also really, really enjoyed by a lot of famous people. A huge thank you to Rolls-Royce for sponsoring Vancouver Television. For all you car lovers, we really hope you enjoyed the 2016 Vancouver International Auto Show. See you next year. Hey everyone, it's Christine White, your host of Vancouver Television and your reigning Miss Vancouver 2015-2016. So today we're here to support a very important event. It's the first annual Easter Egg Fun Run hosted by Foundation 33. Foundation 33 is founded by my team captain, Jimmy Brockett, who's the team captain of Riders for Riders. So this is a really exciting event. It's a family-filled event. There's an Easter egg hunt, a one-kilometer run, and coming up, a five-kilometer run. So let's go check it out. So we have the Easter Egg Bunny herself here. Yay. 
How are you? Hey, I'm great, thank you. It's so sunny and all the kids are having fun. I know, are you having fun? Always, yeah. always having fun, aren't we? I'm here with Tiffany. She is in a very cute getup. How are you doing, Tiffany? Good. Are you looking forward to the Easter egg hunt? You want me to go? Yeah. Yeah? How many eggs do you think you're going to find? Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Four? I think you can find ten. Um, yeah? Yeah? Are you here with your friends? Where are your friends? Oh, you want to bring them in? Okay, so we're all going to wave and say, Yay, Foundation 33, okay? One, two, three. Yay, Foundation 33! Awesome, high five. <laughs> hey everyone, happy Easter. I'm here with Jimmy Brockett, my team captain of Riders for Riders, and also he is the founder of Foundation 33. How are you, Jimmy? Fantastic, look at this, this is amazing. Amazing sunshine. We were supposed to be bathing in the rain right now. Yeah, I think we got really lucky today, so this is, uh, this is perfect. Very perfect. So I'm just wondering, Jimmy, if you could tell our viewers at home a little bit about Foundation 33? Yeah, Foundation 33 was created to, to give back to families that have children that have been affected by cancer. Uh, and the way we do that is by surprising them with gifts, just to make them smile, just to hopefully take them away from the journey that they've been going through, uh, just for a little minute and like, make them smile and, and really just take them away and make them happy for a little period of time. That's amazing. So have you helped out several families already? or? What's, what's in the plan? Well, you know what, we've done two families already. Uh, one thing that we're finding right now is finding the right families to help. Uh, we need families that have, have been affected, obviously, the children or the parents. Uh, that are some, maybe a couple of years down the road and are still struggling. And we just want to come in and just make, make them happy and realize that the community cares about them. So those are the type of families we're looking for. There's something I haven't told you. Okay. I want you to be the first family. I'm gonna go with this Jimmy. It's amazing. So, Jimmy, I know that you have your own story behind the, the foundation. Yeah. Do you want to enlighten our viewers about that? Yeah, well, you know, my journey in the, I call it the cancer landscape, started seven years ago, eight years ago with the right to conquer cancer. My, my five-year-old son passed away of brain cancer and uh, the community came together and supported me at a time of need. and and. Uh, and an opportunity came when the ride to Conquer Cancer happened, it was my opportunity to give back. And I created a little team back then, it was just 13 people in year one and we did $60,000 for cancer research. And, and since then we've grown to be the largest team in the BC ride. Uh, we also take part in the Toronto ride, we have a team of 30 people over there. And uh, we, we do the Alberta ride and we have done the, the Montreal Quebec ride and the Washington DC ride. And so far we've raised just over $2.4 million for cancer research. And uh, I mean, that's, that was where my, my journey began and over the past couple of years I started wanting to do a little bit more because I didn't think that was enough and I wanted to connect with local families just like the families that supported me in my time of need and, and that's how I came up with the idea of Foundation 33 was I just want to get back to those real people, those real families and I wanted to do one simple thing which is something I really love which is just smile and uh, so that's what I did at Foundation 33, making smiles happen, that's our whole purpose. Such a beautiful thing that you're doing, Jimmy. Now, could you tell our viewers at home how we can support you? You can go to the website, foundation33.ca. If you know a family in need or a family that could use some help and maybe a smile, there's a little tab on there. You can suggest a family. Let us know. If you want to donate, there's a donate button on there, there, on, on there as well. If you've got ideas, if you want to support us in different ways, we're looking for community partners that we can partner up with. Uh, we've set up a, a relationship with a couple of uh, restaurants where one night a week a certain um, amount of money comes from that person's bill. So we do $2 to add on to your bill to support Foundation 33. And we're looking for more of those partners. It can be a restaurant, a coffee shop tire place it can be anything uh, and I've hit the material and, and we let people know what we do and you can support us that way so this is our first annual Easter fun run first annual of many uh, Easter fun run uh, we had a, an amazing success we, we blew the numbers out of the water we had 
We had over 100 children, 120 people, if you can see, just getting ready in the background here, getting ready to do a 5K run. Uh, we got gift baskets, we did an Easter egg, Easter egg hunt, the sun was shining, we got treats over here, so it's been, uh, it's been absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. So let's catch up with the five kilometer runner, shall we? Yeah, get on over there. <laughs> this run, I think, this run, it's actually a great fun way of doing it because I'm doing this because uh, I get I have a program on YouTube which ha, it's about bullying right now to stop kids from bullying other kids and what to do if you get if kids get bullied or something and the types and explaining each of the four type basic types of bullying Welcome back to MMC Videos. Well, there's four types of bullying. You may know them, but I'll just tell them to you. There is social bullying, uh, cyber bullying, uh, physical bullying, and verbal bullying. You know what those words mean. Every bullying is bad as each other, but super bad. Like, so bad. You never have to bully. No one has the right to bully. And it isn't even a right. Because bullying is really bad. Like, it's so bad, it makes kids cry, it makes kids get hurt. In my, in this website I made, well, not a website, a blog. It's basically a blog, which yeah. has lots of gadgets on the sidebar. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. It, that blog right now is better than ever it was. And the blog address is mmckids.blogspot.ca. Remember, mmckids.blogspot.ca. I'm going to check that out. So that's MMC Blogspot. No, MMC Kids. MMCKids.blogspot.ca. Thanks, Miguel. I have a question for you, Miguel. Why are you here today? Uh, we just checked the run guides, yes. which is this website with a bunch of runs in them. And my dad just saw this run, like, oh, Easter Fun Run. And then I was like, I checked what the registration had. And then I was like, that's. That's actually really good, and we regist We thought about it for like four days, and then on the 20th, we registered online, and then here we are, and here I am. Awesome! I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad we got to meet. Thanks, Miguel. Yeah, I got here because of my dad. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Miguel. Okay. <laughs> There he is. Hey, so I caught up with my friend and fellow teammate, Michael. How are you, Michael? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm good. So you're here to support Foundation 33. Not the right to conquer just yet. Even though, yes, you're wearing our team jersey. Exactly. Exactly. So are you going to be riding your trike around Stanley Park? Uh, I'll be trailing the walk run to provide medical assistance. Like emergency medical assistance if needed. Awesome, so I hope you won't be needed, but however, <laughs> yeah. I, but that's awesome that you're here to support our team captain, Jimmy Brockett, with his Foundation 33. And I know every year we do the Ride to Conquer Cancer together. I'm hoping we're going to have sunny weather like this. So Michael, could you tell our viewers at home a little bit about your story? Why do you do the Ride to Conquer Cancer? Well, initially, I, back in 09 when I started up, I did it for purely selfish reason. I have a, a rare disorder called ataxia, and I, and I, I find that uh, cycling helps my my ataxia. So that was the initial reason. But the the more I I fundraised and, and, and that. I found out that cancer runs in my family, so that gives me another reason to ride. Exactly. So, Michael, I'm so glad that I got to catch up with you and you can enlighten our viewers about why you do the Ride to Conquer Cancer and you truly are an inspiration. So let's go catch this run. 
Okay, so the five kilometer run is about to happen, but before it does so, we are going to have an Easter egg hunt. But I want to introduce you to some of my friends. Who are you? Sebastian. Sebastian, nice to meet you. And you? Elliot. Elliot, nice to meet you. Penelope. Penelope. Leo. I'm Leo. Leo, nice to meet you. Are you guys ready for the five kilometer run? Three, Three two, two, one. Easter yeah. egg hunt. Yay! Have fun. <laughs> So they've been here very early in the morning at 10.30 setting up the tent and making sure that everything is going as planned, making sure that the Easter eggs are in their baskets as well, right? Yeah. 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 So how did the planning go? It went really well. It did, yeah. Were you expecting rain? Yeah. Yeah, we were kind of worried about that. Are you happy that we have sunshine? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So could you girls tell us a little bit about Foundation 33? Yeah. It's about the, um, taking care of families who have sick people like cancer kids in their family and trying to just help them in any way they can. Having you two here support this foundation means a lot to me and I know it supports a lot of others out there as well so thank you girls. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So Kyla, congratulations on such a successful event. It wouldn't be possible without your awesomeness and also just being a volunteer here today so courtesy of Universal Pictures Canada we're giving you and your family some movie passes happy Easter happy Easter <laughs> first runner crossing the finish line good job and second Woo! and our third place oh first female woohoo good job Woohoo! So you guys just crossed the finish line. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel great. And you were the first to cross over, hey? Yes. What's your name? Peter. And what time did you cross? Uh, 20 minutes and 47 seconds. 20 minutes and 47 seconds? Five kilometers. Wow, that's amazing. And what's your name? Mark. Mark. Wow, you did such a great job. And what time did you cross? 2106. 2106. And you, my dear? Emily. And what time did you cross? 22 minutes. That's amazing! <laughs> Round of applause for that. So how was the run? It was good. Beautiful day, perfect weather. Very nice place to run. Yeah, and I noticed that you have a little bit of an accent. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. From Germany. So did you come here specifically for this run? <laughs> Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, good answer. <laughs> Happy Easter. Nice to have you here in Canada. And you, my dear? It was awesome and hard, but I'm proud of my result, and it was an all-around really awesome run, so yeah. So I'm here with Matthew and Theo. They just crossed the five-kilometer finish line. That's amazing. How do you guys feel? I feel great, actually. Great, and how old are you? I'm nine. You're nine years old? Oh my goodness, and Matthew? Eleven. So I'm here with Peter. He just crossed the finish line. 20 minutes and 47 seconds. Amazing job, Peter. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel pretty good, pretty tired, but it was a good race. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So you've done such a great job in supporting the foundation. So thank you so much for participating in it. We have um, some movie passes for you. T oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm also doing the Toronto ride this year. At first, I wasn't gonna do it. I don't have the money to be able to afford to fly to Toronto and stay in Toronto. Uh, but we were having breakfast, breakfast with Jimmy one morning and Jimmy's like, why aren't you doing it? I'm like, well, I can't afford it. And my parents like, well, if we paid for you to fly there and you did the fundraising, then you could do it. And at which point Jimmy said, look, there's no excuse now. You can't say no, it's done. He's like, you guys are registering today. He's like, I expect you to go home and register. And I want that email from the site saying that you've registered. And sure enough, I went home and registered for that ride. And now I started fundraising for it. That's awesome. Jennifer, where can viewers at home donate? 
Well, what you have to do is you have to go online, uh, ride to conquer cancer.ca, and then there's the BC ride and the Toronto ride, which are separate. And then on the website, it says donate now. And you go and click there, and then you have to type in the participant's name. So you would type in Jennifer Steer, and it would pop up, and that's where you can go and support me. Congratulations Foundation 33 on such a successful event and to all the participants you've done such a great job. See you next week on Vancouver Television. This is your host Christine White.